What's up everyone and welcome to Labs with Lamb. Today we're going to be conducting the oxidation of alcohols experiment. Now, if you haven't read over your procedure yet, make sure to do that. But if you're good to go, then grab your observation table and let's do this thing. Now, to start off, let's make sure we know what chemicals we're working with. Here I've got potassium permanganate, some water, concentrated sulfuric acid, ethanol, butin 1-all, butin 2-all, and 2-methylpropin-2-all. For the first part of this lab, we're only going to need three test tubes. This is to create a baseline so we know what to expect later on. So I'm going to add potassium permanganate to each of the test tubes, like so. Notice the bright pinkish purple color. Now I'm going to add water to the first test tube and the second. But for the third test tube, I'm going to add concentrated sulfuric acid. This is so we have a sample of acidified potassium permanganate. Notice that the color doesn't change whether I add water or sulfuric acid, meaning that no reaction has occurred yet. Now, I'm going to add a bit more water to the first test tube for volume consistency. And then I'm going to add ethanol to the other two test tubes. Again, there's no reaction happening in the first test tube, but we can already see the beginnings of a reaction in number two, and number three has reacted completely. I'll give you a second here to make your observations, or feel free to pause this video for more time. And now we wait. Five minutes later. All right, welcome back. As you can see, our baseline test tube has not reacted at all, still a nice pinkish purple color. We can see that the neutral potassium permanganate has reacted further with the ethanol. We can give that a little bit of a shake here. As for the acidified potassium permanganate, there hasn't really been much of a change since the initial reaction. Again, take a moment to make your observations and pause if you need to. And now on to part two. So for part two, we're essentially doing the same thing we did in test tube three, but using three different isomers of C4H9OH. So again, we're going to start off by adding potassium permanganate to each of the three test tubes. We don't need to do a control again, so we're going to skip the water and add sulfuric acid to all three test tubes. Again, notice that the color has not changed at this point. Now we're going to go ahead and add one of the three different isomeric alcohols to each of the test tubes. We'll start with butin 1-all. Followed by butin 2-all. And lastly, 2-methylpropin-2-all. Two 
So very quickly, we can see that the first two test tubes have already started changing color, while the third test tube is more or less unchanged. Please take a moment here to record your observations, and we'll be back in five minutes to see if anything has changed. Five minutes later. All right, so now what we can see is that the first two test tubes have more completely reacted, while my last test tube, again, hasn't really changed. So we can go ahead and take our final observations. If necessary, please feel free to watch this video again and double check any observations you need. Otherwise, you should have everything you need to get started on your lab report. Good luck. If you find that you need a little extra help, please feel free to check out my other videos for tips and tricks on how to succeed in school. And as always, thanks for learning with Lamb.